What is up, Average Dude Nation? It is Matt Sokol here, and I want to basically share my story with you guys just about my entire life. I'm gonna try to make this as brief as possible, so I'll probably go a little bit fast, so try to keep up with it. Alright guys, so I started my first business when I was 12 years old. I just turned 20 four days ago on September 11th. And my first business was making fishing lures in my basement. I loved fishing. I went fishing every weekend, all the time. It was my life. I started that business. I taught myself how to make a website. I sold my stuff on my website. I advertised online on fishing forums. I did trade shows. And that was my first business experience. Uh, I believe I was in like seventh grade. And you know, I've never really been a good, you know, like a great student. I don't, I'm not a horrible student, but at the end of the day, my mind is like, I wanna be in the real world, I wanna be working, and I wanna be learning through failures and through experience, because the textbooks can only prepare you so much. So, you know, then I went to high school. I started flipping iPhones in ninth grade. I have a book actually about that coming out soon. So the description for that will be down below. It's in pre-order, comes out October 1st. Share a lot of great information. Had to plug it. I don't know, high school was up and down. It was just a turbulent time. I took a lot of business classes. I was heavily involved in my business, uh, my school's business department. I was in the Academy of Finance, an officer for two years. I was in DECA for four years and an officer for three years. Went to New York State uh, events twice. Placed first in my county. And then it came the time to decide, you know, what do I want to do for college? And I already knew, you know, I, want to study business I'm not sure exactly what I was leaning towards maybe marketing and I decided to go with entrepreneurship even though I feel that you know a, the value of a business degree is questionable I decided that that's what would suit me best I wanna you know I'm an aspiring entrepreneur I don't call myself an entrepreneur yet because I do not believe that I have deserved it but I am an I'm an aspiring entrepreneur and you know, I decided to go to Baruch College um, in New York City. I made a separate video about that, um, which I'll put in the description below as well. And, you know, I was there for two years. I was studying, wasn't very social. I made, I made some great friends, some people that will be my friends and future business partners for the rest of my life. Shout out to uh, Billy, Nick, Fody, Alden, all my friends from Baruch. But... Then I was taking classes year round. So I did a fall, then I took winter classes, then in the spring I took an extra class, and then I was there for the summer. And during my summer session, I got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at age 18. And there's another video about di me being diagnosed with type 1 diabetes as well, which is in the, the description below. And <laughs> I have to plug it, guys. I did a lot of specific videos. I wanted this to be a little bit broader. So I got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Um, I stayed home for the first two weeks. I had class. I, I commuted from my house. Um, and then for the fall semester, I was supposed to take six classes, which is an extra class. I realized, even though I, you know, I didn't really want to slow down, because my goal was to graduate college in two and a half years. Just take classes year-round, get in, get out, get in the real world, start my life, make my millions, do my thing. And I realized now that I was, you know, I was trying to rush I was trying to rush a little bit, a little bit too much, actually. Even though I'm still eager to get out there, um, you know, I realize that there's certain components, such as like networking and experiences, that are gonna help me be more prepared for when I actually want to start that that life and that business career. So I'm, I decided that six classes in the fall was too much, so I dropped two. I was at four classes, and I went back to the dorms, and I had to inject myself four to seven times a day with insulin. I had to check my blood sugar. I was checking it eight times a day. I was always nervous um, that it would be too low or too high and that, you know, that would endanger my health and my well-being. And uh, one of the classes I wasn't doing well and I dropped it. I was only in three classes, which I only had class two days a week. So it was a very, very light load. And 
you know, I found myself um, in, a, in a very bad mental position. You know, I'm still battling with maybe a little bit of denial. And then I was just, I was just struggling with, with the diabetes and the fact that it wasn't as social as I wanted it to be. And, you know, I love New York City and it has nothing, has nothing to do with New York City. But it had to do with that experience in itself. I'm from New York, so I, of course I love the city. Two months into the semester, I decided that I was going to leave the dorms, um, move back home, finish out the semester, and I wasn't really sure exactly what I was going to do. So I moved home, and then, um, while the semester was going on, I had the opportunity to go to Florida and work an internship for BurgerFi, which is a 100-plus um, store casual burger um, quick service restaurant and in their in their marketing and operations division is a very quick growing company that was an absolutely fantastic experience I was there January through May I decided to obviously take the semester off and you know I, I had thought about transferring this first semester that I was at school I was too nervous to do it right I, everyone is nervous about making that change because change is difficult and a lot of people choose to do what is easy and what is easy is to not change what is hard is to change and there's a good saying that I like which is do what is hard and your life will be easy do what is easy and your life will be hard and I truly believe it uh, I truly believe in pitting yourself in uncomfortable situations and forcing yourself to grow and that's what I've been doing and since I got to college it's been I guess it's been barely over two years. I've grown exponentially. I, I couldn't even imagine it. So I decided to go down to Florida. Obviously, you know, I had no friends. I was living alone down there. Um, and it was, you know, I was a little nervous about, you know, what am I gonna do? I have family down there. So I, I saw my family a little bit. I spent my alone time. Um, you know, I was working 40 hours a week and I was making these videos and just brainstorming. Uh, I applied to a bunch of schools. I settled on, not settled, I decided to go to University of Rhode Island. The reason was it had a campus still in the Northeast, not too far from home, but a little bit further than the city. They have my major. I thought that it could just offer me more. But the, the whole entire thing, you know, when I decided to take less classes when I was diagnosed and move home and take a semester off, that was so hard for me because I... You know, I was a full year ahead, and I wanted to get out so badly, so I had worked very, very hard to accumulate those credits to be, like, significantly ahead of where I was supposed to be. So the decision to, like, slow down and kind of, um, some people might say waste, I'm not going to say that, take advantage of those, I guess, was one of the hardest decisions I've probably ever had to make in my life, but I decided that I could be stubborn. I could adapt, I could be flexible, and I could understand what is going to make me grow the most and what is going to benefit me the most at the end of the day, which a lot of people don't necessarily recognize. So I did the internship. While I was down there, I decided that I wanted to commit. And uh, this summer, you know, I've been working on a couple things. Me and Matt, we were selling phones, we were making, we were making content, and all that stuff. And it was a great summer. Met a lot of great people. We went to a bunch of events. You know, I've been here for at school here for about two weeks. I'm in a dorm. Um, everything's going well so far. I'm still trying to get more involved. You know, it's just the early stages. It takes a little little while to expand your network in a new location, which is understandable. You know, I'm really I'm really struggling because I want to be able to bring you guys the content that I think you'll be most interested in. And I know some people like the informative stuff like this and like most of the videos that we're posting now where like I sit down and I talk and I give you a lot of value. But I also know that one of the more enticing things is like the vlogs where we're mashing clips up. We're going here, we're going there, we're doing stuff. And we, or at least I'm just not going to speak on behalf of Matt, but myself, it's, I, I can't really give you that content right now. And I, I wish I could, I, I you know. I could if I want to just go out and do random stuff just to get the content, but at the end of the day, that's, you know, that's not real. That's, you know, I would just be doing it to get the content. Even though that would help us grow quicker, let's be honest, 
I'm not about to just go be fake and sell out sell out my actual life which is what this channel is supposed to be to grow quicker when I know that at the end of the day after time as I go on more adventures and learn more that content is gonna get me to that point anyway I'm in this for the long haul I don't want to take any shortcuts this thing needs to be done right I'm committed to this and that's why I'm keeping it a hundred percent I'm not doing any fake anything fake I'm not lying. It's it's a slow time right now. It's gonna be hard to come up with content. I'm trying to bring you guys value. At the end of the day, if I can't bring you that value, I would rather just not waste your time and not put out content than give you something that doesn't add value. Because my whole spiel, like what I believe in, is regardless of whatever whatever the hell you're doing, you need to bring value for whoever you're. You know doing it for whoever you're talking to whoever you're reaching whoever you're networking with you need to bring them value otherwise there's no point that is pretty much my story that is pretty much where I'm at at this point me and Matt we're doing this YouTube channel we're working on a supplement company uh, I'm dropping the book October 1st I'm really not sure what the next stages are um, I should be going to Israel over the winter that should be cool that'll be some sick content hundred percent but besides that, I'm not really sure. Wherever the wind blows, I guess that's where we're going. So anyway, guys, hopefully you learned a little bit about me. I really appreciate you spending the time to watch this video. Please give the video a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram at AverageDudeTV. Any questions, comments, concerns, you could comment them down below or email us at AverageDudeTV at gmail.com. We appreciate you guys. We want to grow Average Dude Nation. If you're looking to collab, whether it be actually in a video or you just send us music that we could use for future vlogs, we're interested in it all. So please reach out to us. Let us know. And we'll see you in the next one.